everyone. Hello from California. My name is Lisa Rocks, and I am here to share with you the treasure that is Dragon Audit. Um, this goes out to you accountants out there, and I think even the non-accountants will enjoy this as well. So let's get ready to get started. And this is any percent new game. Three, two, one. All right, let's get going. So there's a lot of loading screens, as you can see here, and it's a switch. So, you know, switch loading. <laughs> Um, so basically, the story is about the dragon owes taxes, and but she also has to protect the princess. So a lot of the accountants that go in to like get the taxes um, don't make it out alive. So um, it's like a really terrible job because <laughs> no one usually makes it out alive. It's, it's gonna be great. So we start our story. A little bit of an intro, Dragon Castle. And we meet our dragon lady, Ivra. She is half dragon, half human. And she's lonely because it's just her and the princess all the time. Thank you everyone for the good looks in the chat. Okay, so she's like stole the princess's crown and now she's just gonna pretend to be a princess. Uh-oh. She's been caught. She was talking smack and then was like, oh no, I just I just hit some dragon gargle stuff and she's like, all right, whatever. Not the, you know, princess, princessy princess I've ever seen, but she is a princess and that's, that's all that matters. It's a lonely life being a dragon. She decides not anymore. So moving on to the city of Squelch. Loading! So this is technically um, like chapter one of the game. That was like the intro. Um, there's really nothing to do. It just kind of gives you the background of the story. So as we load into chapter two, we get to see more of the city inside. And sometimes I forget how long the loading the loading screens are, but you know, it's a trade-off. You get some entertainment and uh, you just load a bit. We're good. So we uh, see our friend uh, George here. He is an accountant. And he is way late for work. Oh my goodness, let's get our punch card. So the punch card you need everywhere, even to leave your house. I don't, I don't wanna live in a life like that. Cause like, what if there's a fire? And, oh no. Someone parked their tank in front of his house. So I'm going to look in the dumpster here and go dumpster diving. We got like a nice book of matches. Oh, wait, I'm a little thirsty. Let's try some uh, debit diet. So um, no calories, no soda. It's just an empty can. Um, let's take some gasoline. My neighbor's like letting me borrow some gas. And oh, look, my slide rules here. I got to pick that up. So now we combine the um, soda can with the gasoline and then the um, put the gasoline can down 
<laughs> We're gonna light it up. <laughs> so that was a little too intense. I didn't know how much gas he used. Okay, so in this game, there are also um, awards um, on the PS4 version. It's for actual trophies. So you might see those pop-ups come up. And the elevator is just instantaneous. No waiting for us. Check my computer. I don't know why I'm separated from everybody else in the world. Yeah, go shopping on Congo, not Amazon. I know these mysterious like pickups will make sense later. And the boss wanted to see me. So he's telling, um, you know, he's like, you're promoted. He's like, no, I have so much to live for because as I said before, being an external accountant is very scary because um, a dragon. <laughs> Backstory, um, everyone's in a guild except for our buddy George. He got kicked out for whatever reason. <laughs> but this is his chance to earn his way back. And if you um, decide to say, no, I won't do it, if you do that twice, then you get to play Dragon Pinball, which I think is pretty cool. Oh, wait. Got to get our package. I wish that, like, I could get a package, like, two seconds after I order it. I'm taking uh, one of the company's shrimp. <laughs> he won't notice, right? <gasps> Lenny! Oh, you gotta go. Sorry. <laughs> Lisa, why did you take a shrimp out? That will make sense. <laughs> well, these people don't take money as a form of payment. Like this guy. Like, I need to um, get some copy or paper, but he doesn't take real money. He just takes lovely poetry. Um... This is a weird lump here, like the grass is different. Um, I would like to open um, my box from Congo using the box cutter. And we will use our glass shovel to dig it up. <laughs> and it's broken. So we found a, a notary. Yeah, a notary notebook in the ground of the park. We stopped by my friend's house. She's getting married, so... Um, Hopefully she has some lovely poetry for us to give to the vendor. See you later. Gonna need some copy or paper. So we use our lovely poetry. Oh, turn me around. This happens sometimes. <laughs> Okay, so I got a ream of paper, and then he was like, yeah, you can keep it. So I don't know how that guy makes money. Anyway, remember that shrimp that we picked up earlier? Well, there's a guy that sells sketchy toner, but like, not with money, only shrimp. <laughs> and you have more dialogue with him, but you know, it's a speed run. We gotta keep it moving. Go to the tavern real quick. Hey man, I found your notebook. It's the Renegade Notary. All right, I don't have any documents right now for him to notarize, but I'm glad that we convinced him to come out of retirement for us. So to, we gotta figure out how to get our tank off the roof. Cause we kind of just like threw everything up there. Um, I'm gonna stop by the copier and put some paper in and some toner. Cause you know, offices. Use my slide rule to bust open this door so we can operate the crane and try to get my um, crane down. And it's not in English, so we have to figure something out. Luckily, the copier that we put um, the toner and uh, paper into also translates languages, because that makes sense. Um, I got so excited that I went to get electricity before I even discovered there was no electricity. Okay. There's no power in here. This place used to be called Five Hour Copy, and it was literally open five hours a week. So there's a lot of fun, like, jokes in here that, you know, you don't get to see during the speedrun, so I, defi I definitely recommend a casual um, 
type of game or run. Okay. Oh, did I? I think I need to talk to her again. No. I think, I think I missed something on the, it's hard to talk, I apologize, it's hard to talk and like play. Oh, I need to use, okay, so, yes, I would like some electricity, please. <laughs> See, even in an easy game, you're like, forget stuff sometimes. <laughs> hey. Okay, so she's like, sure, let us, uh, get you some electricity but you need to get a notarized form and he's like yo i'm just i'm right here like why do i why do i need this form notarized she's like to make sure that you signed it but you can watch me sign it no that's not how paperwork works here boy the renegade notary it smells a bit because it was in the ground for a while. Yes, notarization complete! So let's head back to that um, electricity so we can get the power turned on for our copier to translate our manual. There you go! We have power! I don't know who's going to pay the bill, because I'm not. So once we translate our um, instruction manual, then we can operate the crane. Oh, we want to go up, not down. George, where are you? Okay. Climb back up here. Okay, so this is a little puzzle where you have to like read um, the instructions to the right and you just kind of guess. But my memory hopefully will not fail us today. <laughs> there we go. Now we can knock down our crane and move on with our lives. Or knock down, use a crane to knock down our tank to move on with our lives. Hooray! You're a crane operator. Bye! So, I'm going on my suicide mission, everyone. Now, accountants are, like, really important in this city. So, George is going to get a proper send-off from his co-workers. Everyone's got their slide rules ready. This is a Switch game. <laughs> um, the PS4 version is slightly better. Like when we were in the office building before and when the elevator was instantaneous, in the PS4 version, you actually can go in the elevator, hit the button, and then, <laughs> then you're on the next floor. But I prefer the instantaneousness of it. Because as you know, accountants work in buildings with elevators. And sometimes the elevator gets full and you have to wait two or three cycles to get in. Uh-oh, Georgie boy got a little lost. And um, for those that are curious, yes, this is, this is a Switch game. It came out um, on April 15th, 2021. Which would have been perfect because in the U.S. that's tax day, but um, the IRS had moved the tax deadline to May 17th this year. So that debut didn't really work out, but it was good. <laughs> oh, a popular question I get asked is, um, how, how did you find this game? Because 
Um, I was looking, uh, I think I was just browsing the eShop and, um, you know, I saw this trailer and it was April 1st. So I was like, this is hilarious. This, this trailer is so funny. Like April Fool's, right? No, it's a real game. So I pre-ordered it for like $10. <laughs> I was so excited to play it, and I beat I beat the whole thing casually um, in under two hours, but that's not 100%ing it. Like, there's, there's other, like, things that were hiding that I found later on when I was trying to run, get a run going for this game, so there's lots to do. I think you get a good amount of game and hilarity for the price. Oh, IRS is backed up. <laughs> Yeah, ten dollars. Okay, so I figured out a skip to like skip this whole part, but um, it winds up soft locking, so it makes me sad. So um, maybe one day there'll be another um, runner of this game that can look into that more. Um, so there's another puzzle where you have to figure out the combination, and it never changes. So we're not even gonna look at that right now. I got my camera. A broom. So we need to distract Mitra so that um, we can talk to the, the accountant, not her. Let's bust some light. Okay, now we're gonna go prank her. We're going to this other phone. So she pretends to be a magazine. They're like, send us your picture. And she's like, oh, it's too dark in here. Let me go outside. So we're going to go in our room and take the key to the pantry. But that doesn't seem like it's going to, you know, keep her distracted long enough. Come into the exotic meats. And the exotic meats give you very, very terrible exotic meat breath. So we're just going to knock her out with this. Okay, we're good. She's like, oh, I need to get a mint. Okay, so back to George. He was hyping himself up. So the skip I found in the last part is you can fall off the balcony, go into the moat and fall off into nothing. And then it brings you back to the front of the castle and it goes, it goes to the scene, which is like, cool, I don't need to do that. But the game still thinks you're just, just Ira. And um, at this point, you need your inventory, George's inventory and Ira's inventory to combine because you need items from both. So it's pretty much a soft lock and you can't like, can't move on. Okay, so this is the part that's weird. He was like, I'm here to audit you. And she's like, a date? What? He's like, audit, right? No, a date. Okay, so I don't know how like you confuse that. I think because I pronounce audit, because I'm from New York originally, and um, you know, I pronounce it audit. Like audit doesn't sound like a date, but maybe other people that say audit. Audit a date? I don't know. I don't know how she confused that. Maybe she just heard what she wanted to. No, this is a real game on the eShop. <laughs> and PSN. Okay, so there was an earthquake earlier off camera, so we need to be an electrician to get through these doors to get to the files. This one's a little more difficult. So if you hit it, um, you have to start over. You, everyone thought that accountants just do numbers, do electricity, uh, organization. And this is ridiculous, so we're going to make it easier. And we're just going to go diagonal. <laughs> it would take way too long. Oh, yeah. So, like, yeah, my New York accent is pretty much gone. I've been in California for 15 years, so it only is certain words like audit and coffee. So if that clears up the confusion. Let's string this wire here. Done. All right, let's go through these records. So she accidentally blew her cover. She's not the princess. 
So now they're talking about like taxes and then she's like, I don't get this accounting innuendo. He's like, innuendo? She's like, well, it's a date. No, it's an audit. <laughs> Awkward. Uh, chowder. Sorry. <laughs> that's that's Boston. That doesn't pronounce the R. <laughs> so it turns out she has a balance due. And she's not happy about that because no one no one really likes paying taxes. So George is here to collect it, and she says, okay, but it's upstairs. And he's like, okay, let's go. And she's like, no, the elevator's broken. Oh, he was just like, she's like, you're gonna steal my money. He's like, it's not stealing, it's paying taxes. And she got mad. So in order to collect the money, we have to repair the elevator, which is also known as a pastor noster. It's a really old, really dangerous um, elevator. I found another skip. Um, whoa, George, thank you. <laughs> um, if you're Ira, you you can um, just open the door without even having to open it. What I'm trying to say is you can switch characters. All of a sudden, Ira is inside and George is outside and you're just in the room. But there's really, I can't figure out like anything useful to do with it. So the Pastor Noster needs some parts. And we're going to get the parts that we need to prepare or repair the Pastor Noster elevator. And it turns out that, uh, you know, she's a, a welder in her part time. You know, she's a lot of time in her hands, uh, being a dragon, not much out there. Uh, oh, look, a screwdriver. Okay, totally need that. Story time! So Ira was out flying with mom and got lost and she was gonna ask this boy for help and he's mean to her. The tears. The tears are real. So as a mom, you know, she doesn't want her child to be sad. So she tells her, you're not a monster. Well, she's not, like, she's just a half dragon. So her mom's like, your dad gave me this bow. Now this bow is yours. And then uh, later on, George is like, oh, do you still have it? And she's like, no, I got mad at her and burned it. Because <laughs> teenagers, right? <laughs> Uh, teenagers doing things for spite. Okay, so we got that. Let's just bust out this window here. No big deal. We're gonna knock over this this windmill thing with my um, slide rule. Oh, I didn't get, I didn't get close enough. It has to be highlighted red to use it. So, using his muscle, he knocked it down. Oh, screwdriver. And now Ira's gonna look for some parts. Like, we need an axle, we need a gear, um, we need a belt. So, I went upstairs before to, um, Mitra's room because she had a belt in the closet, but it was locked. Okay, backstory. So I made Ira's mom go crazy. And apparently George was the person that was supposed to push the button to save the city and he like pushed it too late or something. So, you know, she destroyed the city and killed a bunch of people. And then in turn, 
Um, they destroyed her mother. And he's like, sorry we like destroyed your mother. But she said it was okay. She's just mad at the person that made her go crazy. But like, that's the last we hear of it. So I don't know, maybe there's going to be a Dragon Audit sequel or a prequel where like we find out who makes her dad, her mom mad. And in that conversation, we find out his her dad's just not around because he's too sad. It's a really tough life for a, you know, a, a dragon lady. It's tragic. Okay, so... Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> I don't know if that was a game or my joystick, but... All right. So we're gonna combine um, the broomstick from earlier with uh, this piece that we got here. And um, that, that piece came out of the out of the windmill downstairs. And oof, all the debris is gone from the earthquake. Okay, so chilling at the pool, looking for the key to Mitra's closet. And then we learned that the king like wants the princess here to protect her. So earlier when they were doing the taxes, they're like, oh, you you have rental income. But then he was like, you can claim your roommate as a dependent, but I don't know if they're going by US tax laws. That is incorrect. <laughs> but I'm not here to give tax advice. I am here as Lisa Rocks the streamer right now. I'm gonna take this giant statue and put it in my pants. And then we're gonna take this mason jar for no reason. Yo, let's get some cheese. Did you know cheese grows in a garden? <laughs> yes, giant cheese. And then, I don't know why there's butter here, but just in case, you know? Oh, there's a, there's the uh, broken pasternosser elevator thing. So let's uh, bust into Mitra's closet here. I can just yeah. Woohoo! Oh, you can also switch back and forth between the two characters, but it doesn't like do anything. down one more. We need to do some uh, welding work here. I need to melt this butter. So let's combine that with a jar. Uh, I have to go, you have to go into your inventory and use it. You can't just press A. <laughs> All right, melt some butter. The butter fertilizes the cheese. I could see that. <laughs> Is it romance? So I was like, we're a good team. We should hang out like next time you, you know, come outside the city. And he's like, well, I'm actually going to get promoted when I bring the taxes back. So I don't have to come outside anymore. Also, we need to melt down this statue and I'm not close enough to the fire to do that. Yeah, so now we have um, a semi-melted statue and an axle and a jar of melted butter. So we're just going to hop out the window, use some butter on this axe, and then uh, get it out. Do -do -do. Now it's time to fix it. So in order to fix it, we also have to go in our inventory. Uh, I didn't hit A, go away. 
We need to combine the axe with the cheese. And now we have a gear. Yes, a gear. <laughs> I don't know why it won't melt. Um, you know, special, special cheese, I guess. It did grow in a garden. Axle and uh, no, a belt. I need to move closer again because I accidentally hit dialogue. Ta-da! Yay, now we can um, ride this incredibly dangerous... Whoa, he's walking on nothing. That was weird. Now we can go use the incredibly dangerous Pastor Noster um, elevator to get up to the top floor to get the taxes. Oh! <laughs> Did I catch it? I don't know. Oh no. Oh dear. What is happening? Did I just soft lock? Please no. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, that was scary. Okay. <laughs> That was a first. That was a first. <laughs> Second floor? Nope. Keep it going. I think I saw her, her wing. Roof? No, not the roof. Here we go. Fifth floor. Hey, how'd you get up here so fast? All right. And... Time! We finished the audit. And now we're gonna have a very long um, cutscene. Ending cutscene. Speedrun award earned. So if you complete the game in under 40 minutes, you get the speedrun award, which I feel is very appropriate for this. Yeah, the ending's like half the game. <laughs> Thank you for the GG's. So George got his taxes and uh, you know, it's time to go. The end, or is it? One last thing for me to tell you. You have weird eyes. <laughs> Why did we do the butter? Oh, we melted the butter because there was an axe stuck in the tree. So to get the axe out of the tree, we used the melted butter. And then we used the axe and the cheese wheel to make a gear. So, George is scared that they won't let him back into the city with his magical looking eyes. And uh, they're gonna go find some mages to help him. Beecher woke up. Okay, now, now we let the scene play. <laughs> Case of Mako eyes, yes. Or sorry, Mako. I I still haven't come to terms with that pronunciation yet. The princess is getting murdery. Yeah, I was in the middle, Big Daddy. So 
there is more things to do in the game. There's more funny dialogue. Um, you know, there's achievements. We just do, as you know, students go the bare minimum as fast as we can. So the main quest was getting the taxes and fixing the elevator to get the taxes. You know, I wish I got a tank on my my promotion. Instead, I just got more work to do. So Ira's gonna guide George on his journey to make his eyes look not magical. Well, you know, maybe maybe this opens up for a, like a sequel, like this rest of this world, maybe one day we'll see George get his eyes fixed and there'll be more quests to like go back and get the taxes that we left at the castle. There's so many possibilities. Maps are hard. Oh, George. That's silly. He's an accountant, not a map reader. There's another random windmill thing in the middle of, you know, the forest. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Yeah, there's so much backstory that they can, like, you know, they left it open, like, we find her father, uh... What was the guild that George was shunned from? Well, with George's promotion, does he get a house? I don't know, what, what other cool things could you get as an accountant for getting promoted? I know sometimes you get t-shirts. Or maybe a water bottle. Oh, random fox girl. What's up? Nice try, George, but I will take care of this. So much easier. <laughs> Sorry, I hadn't touched my controller in a while, so <laughs> it dimmed down a bit. This is a very long journey. I notice it's a class one accounting on a tank, so maybe you get like a bigger tank when you get promoted. That's a nice day. The Dark Souls of Accountancy. 
Yes. <laughs> I don't know what they use for war if the tanks are for accounting, so something probably like way better. Maybe it's autopilot in the tank, I'm not sure. If accounting had more tanks, uh, maybe you'd be an accountant. I mean, maybe not in the US, maybe in another country. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe you can somehow like transport yourself into this world and become an accountant and get a tank and a, a six slide rule sword. Yo, hands to yourself, buddy. Oh, it's a bow. Oh, he made the bow out of his guild flag. There we have it. Hand holding. And that's Dragon Audit. Thank you everybody who stopped by to watch it. Um, I would love to have other runners join and maybe we could have a race one day. Of This game is on the eShop and PSN. It's, for, it's relatively cheap, usually $10 or less. I believe there's a Steam version, but I haven't looked into that. Uncensored hand-holding. Sorry, it's a little PG-13. There is, in fact, a Steam version. Well, there you go. Can wait for the... Winter Steam Sale, maybe, I don't know. And apparently you can help um, translating this game. Like, it's in a, a ton of languages, and I think that... Um, It's all volunteers, so if you know a foreign language that's probably not covered um, in the game, maybe you can go and translate it. Thank you again for having me on here so I could share this beautiful gem.